Hey, what was you saying? Oh my dude, you just got hey. pranked. You didn't see that one coming, huh? Fuck you, you just got pranked. Yo! Prank, baby. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Well, that was a nice drink. That's gonna affect my destiny, apparently. And there's a lantern here. I'm gonna pick that up. Give me this lantern. Crouch down. I can't touch it. Alright. Don't need a lantern. Okay. Let's go see the, the guy here. Get the file. And, uh... Pretend to work for about a couple hours and then leave. Because this place is terrible. I don't like it. Um, Broken. This place seems half abandoned. Half? I'm pretty sure it's like 98% abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. This woman, Cat. Cat. That's her name. She's the lady in there. She's she's mad at me. Cat's mad at me. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. Cat. <laughs> You're getting extorted by an animal. <laughs> Fucking loser. Anyway. Uh, Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. Rust remover. Oh, okay, I see. There's some crawlbars and shit in there. What's in here? Bathroom? John? I knew it. That's disgusting. I don't want to be here. Shut that back. Gross. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. Well, you gotta wipe it, guys. Alright? How are you gonna use it again if you don't like it? Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. That's the boat. That got the big catch. Miraculous catch, I think. Alright. More reading? Nope. That's gross. I don't want to read. There's a map. Alright, let's go talk to this guy real quick before we do more exploring. Um... Man, I, okay, I know the whales are all gone, guys, and you're all depressed and shit. There's no food now, but clean up. Jesus Christ, clean up. That's, I mean, you do that, maybe the birds will come around and you can eat them. I don't know. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Okay, what did you say? Where? Oh, here. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? Huh. Manifests. Hide the manifests. Do not let it manifest. Anyway. It's up here. Why are the candles green? That's not how light works. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Now, what if they're like the same guy? What if Fitzroy is dead? Then he's a zombie. Hmm. What a macabre souvenir. Macabre. Is that how you say that word? Macabre? I thought it was macabre. Anyway. Souvenir is a peg leg. <laughs> Pirates. Alright. Alright. This place is dusty, man. I don't want to be up in here. What the fuck is this? This is gross. Like, the air is... <laughs> I feel like I'm coughing and dying. Where did he go? Holy shit. Oh, he's out here now. You told me you mean about here. <laughs> Completely forgot. All right, buddy. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Um, your documents are unfucking readable. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. 
I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Ah, uh, yeah, they could. I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. Hmm. You're starting to sound a little sus, Fitzroy. Tell me about the warehouse. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. You know where it is. Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. Where? You can't miss it. Where? Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? <laughs> the, <laughs> uh, the, the guy? I have no idea. You tell me. I thought you would have worked it out. It belonged to Charles Hawkins. Ship owners from father to son. I knew that. I see. That explains those loading manifests. Too bad I can't get much out of them. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Hmm. Where's the warehouse again? Now, I know you said it's over there somewhere, but I looked and I, I didn't see it. Anyway. Um, look at his photograph. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Yeah, I've seen it, and it wasn't that interesting. Who's Cat? I found a threatening letter, signed by a certain Cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. That's too fucking bad. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Oh, so it's a turf war. Hmm. You ain't got no soldiers. That's sad. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. Why do people keep telling me to fucking read? Do I look like I want to read? All right. I think, uh, I think we got everything. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. I may or may not do that. Thank you. All right. Uh, can we leave now? I actually don't, I don't want to be here. Look at those guys. Those are some suspicious looking guys, huh? Looking like they're coming to beat me up. <laughs> but this ain't no movie. Please move back. Let the police do their work. Hey, Sullivan. Can't you go any faster? You've seen how old this thing is. If we force it too much, we'll break everything. You can't God do that. damn. But it's only a fish. Poor a little fish? thing. You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know. Or you'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. Only a specialist. In the water, you that You're ain't crazy. us. Crabs. Cops. They can't understand. Hey, hey, hey. Damn Crab. Idiots. Crab. Forget it. Nobody listens to us Can anyway. you take me to the diamonds? That's no way to trade Can you take me to the diamonds, Mr. Oh, yeah. Crab? He's take me to the diamonds, Mr. Trouble. Crab. You... You, you, hey, you hey. can't understand. Crap. You're not sailors. Take me to the diamonds. It's a sign. Take me There's to the diamonds. Coming. Uh, you don't know. You don't know about the diamonds. Don't hey, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Water, you shysters. You're crazy. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Um, <laughs> I have authority, sir. 
Uh, where's the warehouse? I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Okay, they're talking Damn in a loop there. Idiots. Get it. Nobody Damn to stupid anyway. idiots, indeed. All right, gentlemen. Who, uh, who are you? You are, you're not a cop. You're not going to tell me anything, are Where you? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> I got to get into the warehouse. I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. Well, I'm opening it back up. So can you get out of my way? What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's... dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas. And the accident has... affected him badly. He can be unpredictable. Especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. Fuck is he gonna do? Silas? I ain't scared of no Silas. I'll kick his ass. But then I'll tell him that I'm a detective and he'll respect me. So that's what people should. You know, I realize every game you play, if you say you're a detective, no one cares. <laughs> this is carrying the tradition strong. Uh, hello, gentlemen. How's your day? You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We huh? saw what you did to St. Brendan. Huh? Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I don't know what you're talking about. Who's St. Brandon? I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows St. Brendan, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you... Our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Uh... Nothing. Are you guys drunk, or like... Do you have, like... Uh, an affliction of some kind? Why are you just moving like that? I'm just gonna assume you're drunk. Uh, same that statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. What exactly does he protect you from? Getting bitches? Saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. Um, that's rude. Also, I'm a detective. Also, fuck you, your neck is jiggling kind of weird. That's gross. How did you do that? Wait, wait, wait look at, look at, it's gonna happen again. Do it again. Do the, do the next thing. Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. Oh yeah? 
Well, you're gonna let me enter. We're gonna have some. Oh, you work for Cat. Cat, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss. Yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> oh. So he's the Joker now. What happened to the statue of St. Brendan? Dreadful. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? Me. Wait, did I even... I'm a detective. Did I say that? I should probably have said that. What are you guarding, exactly? Listen, Bonehead, we already told you that we're guarding our boss's turf. Okay. <laughs> you pussies really are scared of her, She huh? sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. Or what? Oh, right, the smile thing. Okay. Um, I, I gotta get through, though. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. All right. All right. You two, uh, you leave me no choice. I'm gonna have to kick your asses. I didn't want to do it, but it seems like that's, that's what's gonna have to be done, huh? I bid you gentlemen farewell. Alright, put them up. Let's go. Where's the attack button? How do I attack? Um, whatever. When I learned combat, you guys are fucked. Oh yeah. You're fucked. You and that, this cat person. I'm pretty sure she's the lady in the bar. I told me to get, get away. Alright, how do I... I need to get past those guys, right? I guess we gotta go around. Gotta take the long way. Where's the long way, though? That's uh, another question. Uh, hello. He's chilling. Okay. That must be St. Brendan, the statue. Maybe I can go that way. Let's check out the statue first. Oh, there's barnacles everywhere. This is fucking town, dude. Like, uh, yeah, I know you guys are, like, nautical and whatever, but Jesus. All right. St. Brendan, the Navigator. St. Brendan. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. Hmm. Yeah, what if a bird pooped on it? I mean, it'd be a very focused-ass bird, but... Possibility, right? Oh, there's more. Oh, yeah, them is... Them is, them is hieroglyphs. Yep. ASCII characters. You guys should probably, uh, you should download some kind of file. Just, uh, help you read that. Can I jump? I can't jump. Okay. I need to get into the fucking warehouse, but they're just standing there. In the way. That guy's jerking off his fishing rod. Oh, never mind, he's just fishing. Alright, it looked weird. It's a sign. There's something coming. How do I get past? I could ask those guys again, but... Maybe I'll go back to the bar. Oh, well, there's this whole area. They haven't even gone down this way. Let's, let's go down this way. Is that a fucking car? They had these in this time? Oh, I thought there's something glowing there. Hello, you? You got anything? You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. Uh... Are you scared of cats? I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. I'm sure we can talk something out. 
maybe make a deal. As in, you know, like, I, I pay her, and then she, she doesn't hurt This me. warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. You want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. Not good. He didn't tell me anything. I shall take my leave. You saying good for? Good. Good conversation. Thank you. Have a good day. This is another entrance in the warehouse. Okay, I got in. Uh, the spot hidden skill allows you to detect hidden items in close. Hidden. Is there something hidden? Oh. Oh. This was hidden, all right. It's crank. A handle. It must come from these old winches. No, it's a crank, dude. Not a handle. It's not a lever. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. I gotta use the lift the lift the grate. How do I uh, how do I do that? There's a ladder here. What? Right, choose the ladder. All right. Okay. Time to crank that soldier boy. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. Uh, mount the handle. Got it. Got it. Hey, right, crank it. Crank that soldier boy. Crank it. Do I got a crouch? Crank it, dude. Crank it! Am I too weak? Crank. Oh, I needed another part. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. Well, I didn't know I needed that. But fucking thank you for that. Finally saying it, I guess. What is this? A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Oh, gross. You guys don't clean up the pieces of whale? That's not very sanitary. Okay. Alright, I just needed another part. I think that's the only part I needed. Let's go back up and give this another whirl. Let's whirl it. Give it a quick whirl. Uh, mount the ratchet. Okay, we got it. Ah, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I still need another part. Dude, just crank it as is. It's fine. And it'll probably break. You know, but... Whatever. God. Okay. I need something else. What the fuck else? Here's the last thing. Where? Aha! There's the last thing. Cogwheel. This has no... How do you even use this? It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Okay. I now have all my things. I didn't know I could use the slider, by the way. That was kind of automatic, but whatever. Progress. All right, mount the wheel. All right, turn the handle. There you go. Crank it. Oh. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. Damn, I broke it. You fucking fool. What if I just burn the rope? Oh. Uh, that would be counterintuitive, then you wouldn't be able to get it open at all. Uh... Alright. Well... I'm stuck. I don't know what else to do. Okay. Good. Why is there a check mark thing at the lower left corner? I don't know what that means. God damn it, game. You stop teaching me things. Please don't stop teaching me things. Alright, so what now? I guess we'll talk to somebody. We'll tell them, hey, I broke this thing. Um, I don't know how to fix it. So anyway, what's going on with you? Oh, you had, uh, Well, well, a little mouse has got lost on our turf. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Oh, uh, you know, just <laughs> seeing the sights. How, how, how are you, though? You you look good for somebody in, like, a shitty town. Really nice face. Um, I had no idea. 
Yeah. Your turf. That's news to me. For a guy who has no idea, you've been doing a fair bit of poking around. My men saw you staking out the Hawkins warehouse. Is that against the law? I'm no idiot, detective. I'll tell you how things work around here. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. There's some, there's some nice gestures you got there. Is your name Cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Oh my god. You're assaulting me. Ow. Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Well, I can see why they are all scared of you now. Ugh. I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. Okay. Uh, that's good, because we kind of hit a wall there. I, I didn't know how to fucking lift the crank up. Wow. Okay, got my ass kicked. That's cool. Got beat up by a girl. How are you, Mr. Crab? I missed you, Mr. Crab. Mr. Crab, did you see that shit? Crab? Did you see that shit, Crab? That lady. That lady's something. I don't know how you people deal with her. What is she like? The fucking king? The queen of the... What the fuck? You guys agree with this? Well, well, look who's back. Did you miss us? No. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Uh, no, I've taken enough anything. of your time. We'll see you later. Yeah, shut up. I don't think I have anything to say. All right, I've got to deal with Miss Cat. Miss Feisty Cat, who wants to just fucking beat us up, not even explain things. Um, what do I crawl in here? What's in here? Stuff. Broken window. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. A stiletto? She uses a fucking piece of a shoe to stab people? How does that work? That ain't gonna do much damage. It's not an actual knife. Unless the st stiletto is like a type of knife. And I'm just an idiot. Um, what do I do about this? Barkeep. Hey. Come here. Come here, I wanna talk to you. Get your ass over here. Come here. What can I get you? I have some questions. What do you know about the Hawkins warehouse? If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Uh, yeah, tell me about Cat. How That'll do I kick awful. her ass? Somebody's gonna know. Oh, she's just chilling over here. Hey. Another break? Can we talk hey, again? Hey, Mitchell. A drink for our new friend. I owe you. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Yeah. Aching guts. Huh. I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down. It's something that I respect. So understand by that. If I catch you again... You'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? Uh, I don't see the point in lying. I mean, she's mean, so I don't really want to be honest with her, but I mean, fuck it. I'm investigating the deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so openly, but it's also really stupid of you. You really don't seem to know the area. Let me give you a little advice. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. But how will I find information about what I need to do? It's my job. That's what you do, you ask about the thing you're investigating to people. You're stupid. You don't know how being a detective actually works. 
I need to get into the warehouse. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? No, man. Your leg is right there. I'm not touching you. Oh, you... <laughs> you mean the thing of uh, figure of speech. Not at all. I'm very serious. The whole family died in a fire. And I've got reason to believe that there's still more to be said on the subject. Well, I see you're serious. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. But I'll go with you. To make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me. And I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think about it. I help you, you'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? Uh, is it money? Because I'm kind of poor. I have a lot of whiskey, though. Do I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. Follow me. Nobody questions your authority here. Was he asking that to himself? Did she, did she not hear me? Oh, okay. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. And the police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. Wow, you, you're walking a lot slower than me. This is kind of hard to pace. Uh, can it, is there like a walking key? That's Crouch. We saw this guy poking around here. It's fine. He's with me. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ha! In your face. In your ugly, vastly hideous face. Jesus Christ, stop looking at me. I'm gonna get nightmares. Alright, nice, nice fucking turf you got here. It's very dirty. It's very gross. I don't know why you're so protective about this. What does this piece of fucking land have for you? Are you hey, hiding gentlemen, like- gentlemen, and move that for me. <sighs> why should I? You fucking do it, tough woman. You missed a tough lady around here, you fucking move it. Oh, keep it up appearances, huh? You, you wanna be beautiful and fucking- And the boss? Can't have it both ways, sister. Alright. Is this feces? Looks suspiciously like feces. That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. You know, I didn't ask you to do that. I didn't ask you to do any of this. Why are you complaining? Oh, this place stinks. Just not noticing that. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Reconstruction. To enter a reconstruction scene, hold the buttons. Oh, are we doing some fucking cyberpunk shit? Who has enough money to buy painkillers? It stays in a place like this. What am I reconstructing exactly? Can't sleep. I know how that feels. It smells as bad as it looks. It looks as bad as it smells. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? What the hell? Is that the... Is that an imp? What is that? Who is that? Someone treasures this crumpled picture to the point of sleeping with it. Maybe they just miss their family. Okay, I could have sworn I could examine that. I can't now. Uh, maybe this is all some build-up, because we're about to, like, 
have a flashback of like what this actually looked like. The glass is shattered, like someone smashed it. Was it before or after the removal of these bandages? Hmm. Probably after. How do we know they didn't smash it and didn't have to bandage up their hand and and then they put them they they bled too fast so they had to take it off and put a new fresh thing back on so they basically wasted the first fucking uh, rolls of gauze or something. Okay, did we jam everything? Yeah, I think we did. I hope we did. Okay. Um, what did we learn? Let's see. Uh, what was the point of that? We didn't see the scene unfold. I thought that's what was gonna happen. It was a creepy painting, all right. Is this really all I came to see? I got beat up by a, a girl gang boss for this. This is really gross, though. Oh my god. How's that blood not, like, dried? Yeah, if it were dried blood, it'd be black. It wouldn't be still red. This looks fresh. Maybe that's just it's intentional it's for the creepy effect. Okay. I guess I've seen enough. Can we go out this way? We cannot. Yeah, I guess we've seen enough shit. Alright. Oh, someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? Yo! Don't move! Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Right, well, I forgot you did. Hey, let's team up. You and me. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene. Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. <laughs> yeah, open your eyes. God damn it. Her again. I can't. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. <laughs> Who are you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. Wow, you're such a bully. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Who would put a mansion all the way up there? That's a weird place to put a mansion. It's, it's right on the cliff. I bet it's got a good view though, of the of the, of the water and shit, and then the disgusting town right below it. No, never mind. The view is probably not so great.
Well, here we are. Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Okay. You, you gonna come with me? I could really use a partner for this for this task. Um, this place has fallen in ruin. I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know. Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. Huh, it's really that old. Come on, let's leave the stories of the dead alone. It's nothing to do with your case anyhow. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Um, yeah. Winchester. Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family, so he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? You know, you seem like a way nicer person than you look. Like, you, you, you have all this sympathy, and you're, you're answering my questions, you aren't being an asshole threatening me, you shove your badge in my face. You're a nice guy. I just, you know, you look like you want to fucking, like, you know, harvest my fucking organs to the black market. But looks can be deceiving. Never judge a book by its cover. People do that all the time. Anything else I should be wary of. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? Yeah, let's, let's go. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Sure, I could use a buddy. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. You got a gun, right? Where's, where's your gun? I don't see it. Did you leave it in the car? You should go back and get it. You should, I'll wait. Go back, go back and get your gun. Please tell me you have a gun. What the fuck kind of town is this? You have a goddamn gun. What kind of cop are you, huh? What is that, a fucking costume or a uniform? Or a uniform or a costume? I, I wanted to say that in the other order, but I didn't. What's this? Uh... Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. 1693, holy shit, that's, that's a long time ago. Uh, Hilltop House built uh, that year by Reverend John... Yickwood. Yeah, I think that's what that said. All right, hold on, I'm coming. Oh God, this is a graveyard. The house is that way, why are we walking through here? This is creepy. Oh, damn it, I'm about to get depressed. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Fresh, huh? Who's been bringing them flowers? Uh, somebody's been bringing this guy pots. <laughs> Probably Link. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Yes. Dreadful ones. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? 
It said that he's devastated. All right, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've... Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing, let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. Poor kid. Ah, oh, it sucks. Wait, what does it say? 1913, 1924. Oh yeah, that was the uh, that was a little that was a little kid. It was a little little boy. All right, man, I'm depressed. Can we get out of here now? I know you're having a moment and stuff because you, you're all compassionate despite looking like a fucking mobster. We should take this lantern, by the way. Ew, never mind. That one's surrounded with bugs. Uh, interesting pillars. This place probably looked beautiful back in the day. Alright, are you are you okay? You know what? I'll just uh I'll let you have your moment. I'll go on without you. I'll go, I'll go on ahead. And you can cry it out and then meet me up here. Don't forget your gun. Go back to the car and get the fucking gun. Can I read this? No. I mean that. Alright, you're not going with me without the fucking gun. And what kind of cop doesn't have a gun? I don't care if it's 17, 30, 5, whatever the fuck the time is. The game takes place. <sighs> time to play Luigi's Mansion.